Big story out of New York. A Beekmantown man has received the maximum sentence for stabbing his own grandmother to death last Thanksgiving. Yeah, back in August, Gustavo Segundo Clark was found guilty on six felony counts, and today he was sentenced at the Clinton County Courthouse. Local 22's Courtney Adelman joins us now live in the newsroom with more. Courtney? Lauren and Glenn, on November 20th of 2018, Segundo Clark was found to have stabbed his grandmother to death before rolling her up in a carpet and then stealing her credit card and her car. Today, Segundo Clark was sentenced to 25 years to life for the murder of Ginger Clark. Segundo Clark showed no emotion during his sentencing Tuesday morning. Judge Favreau called it disturbing. You appear here 100% unrepenting fear. On August 15th, 25-year-old Gustavo Segundo Clark was convicted of murdering his 73-year-old grandmother. He was also found guilty of first-degree assault, third-degree possession of a weapon, third-degree grand larceny, fourth-degree grand larceny, and tampering with physical evidence. During sentencing, Segundo Clark's attorney asked the judge to consider a minimum sentence because of mental health issues and substance abuse. <clears throat> So as I said from the beginning, when you mix this uh, mental health issues and substance abuse issues, it, it uh, creates a dangerous situation. And that's what happened here. Prosecutor Andrew Wiley with the Clinton County District Attorney's Office asked for the maximum sentence, saying Segundo Clark was not struggling with mental health at the time of the murder. There's no testimony, there's no evidence that the defendant was not taking his properly prescribed medication during that time period. Judge Favreau agreed with the prosecutor. The evidence in this case was clear that you were not affected by any psychotic episode, so to speak. Segundo Clark received the maximum sentence on all charges. 20 years for assault, 3 to 7 years for possession of a weapon, and 2 to 4 years for tampering with evidence to be served concurrent with the murder sentence, and an additional 3 to 7 years for grand larceny. And Segundo Clark did not speak in court today. And during his time behind bars, he will undergo mental health treatment as requested by the family and both the defense and the prosecution. Live in the newsroom tonight, Courtney Adelman, Local 22 News.